Right, as in all of my little videos, uh, it's only a one shot, I don't get any rehearsals, this is one go and that's it now. The This is the uh, clutch master cylinder of a TR4, uh, three quarter, not the original, it's an early one, so it's got the three quarter which is uh, 0.75 of an inch. So the piston in there comes out, self-explanatory really, that this is a, a new one. The clips in a clip in there. Pinch it in with a pair of pliers. Pull it, pull it out, and uh, the piston comes out exactly the same as this. This is the one that I'm refurbishing. Uh, you see, it's a, a little bit gunky, but that's. I want to get these off, and one of the first things to do. You can see in there. There's a little clip. Screwdriver underneath there, lift it up and that will push off and you've got access so you can change this one and then I'll show you the next stage. Right, the, this is the piston. You can see some scoring in, in the bore there but further down it's, it's very bright because the, when the, the metal part here it's, it, it uh, rubs on the side, the bottom is reclaimable so it's and if you see it out there, uh, so what I've done, uh, I've got this um, honing tool which you see here, uh, which is an, a, an abrasive, very fine abrasive on that, um, spring loaded, slide that in, and with the uh, uh, just in and out and deglaze it, and that should come up nice and bright. Um, and, but you have, must remember, because there's an abrasive in there, you must clean this out thoroughly and not leave any sign of any abrasive in there which will cause wear to your rubbers. Now I'll just show you this quickly. You can see the uh, that groove there. The, the clip is just underneath there. Small screwdriver. Lift it up, push with your thumb and that slides off and that allows you then the access to take off the this end here. Um, the spring to get that out, if you look at that, there's that's it, there's a there's a larger hole. I've just taken this all apart so that we can get at that sprung that sprung out. You can see where that pops into the, the hole, it's a a larger hole, you can see it there, this pops out, and that then can take this off. You've got note which way around it goes of course uh, and you've got this one little 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 washer there and then that gives you access to for the rubber on that end so uh, that's dismantling now with this on you can see the the new uh, rubber on the end there the washer uh, make sure you get that the right way around uh, got your spring on um, I'll turn it slightly so you can see that push it into it the, and then slide it back and there it is held we've got the just center it up it's, it's a little bit overlap Let's press that there you go come on get over <laughs> I say no rehearsal so let's go keep that square this time, push it in. That's it. That's all ready. That's it, already there. Um, to now slide this in, just um, until you feel it click. There it is. A bit tighter. That's it in. That's all ready to go. Oh, no, it's Tell lies, don't I? Here we go. Do it a bit tighter than that. Get that in. That's it. Okay. Mm-hmm. I see. I see that that has come out. That needs to be pushed in a little bit. It's not the spring isn't. Must be quite soft. So I push that in. See that. It wasn't clicking. Push it in again and see how we go. That's it, you hear it click there. So uh, 
obviously when I was uh, cleaning this I obviously that's it all ready to go into the thing but well everything well lubricated don't forget now well lubricated with um, with uh, brake, clean brake fluid you'll see in the entrance that you just might see it there that this has got a taper and that is to help the, the the new rubbers when you press to seat themselves gentle pressure it's gone in there now and that's all ready and so when we put this back together again the uh, put the circlip on uh, put the circlip onto the onto this make sure it's pointing the right way around and this of course is spring loaded so you've got to get that back far enough to hold that in oh classic mistake let's get it the right way around on the right side of the washer that's in into there and just into there and just squeeze it up with a pair of pliers and that, that should pop in need three hands there it is there I can't hold the camera at the same time a pair of pliers squeeze them in tight enough and there she goes just pop it into the groove, pop it into the groove, and that's it held now. Pop the cover over, and that's it all fine and dandy and ready to go back into the vehicle. That's all. Make sure everything's sparkly before you put it in, all clean fluid. That's it all done, uh, all the new, all there, bit of a shine up, make it look reasonable ready to go in the car now. I'll show you that in a second.